professional goal number one, improving my grammatical skills. As I was reviewing the professionalism guidelines in the clinic manual, the statement, the ability to use proper grammar and all forms of communication stood out to me. English was actually one of my favorite subjects. As of late, however, I have found myself questioning whether or not I am using correct grammar. In addition to this, I've always had difficulty with pronunciation. Words such as frame and cacum and exostosis ah, don't exactly roll off my tongue. As someone who will be documenting patient information as well as conducting patient interviews, it is important for me to speak and write coherently. I can begin by reviewing basic grammatical rules and applying those to my everyday writing, such as through emails or note taking. Each time I encounter a new medical term, I can look up the correct pronunciation. By the end of the semester, I would like to be able to speak and write in a manner expected by a health professional, expected, expected of a health professional. I would also like to be able to write and speak in a manner that meets the standard within the clinic manual. Professional goal number two, obtaining critical thinking skills for patient evaluation. Section eight of the professionalism portion of the clinic manual places emphasis on critical thinking skills. In a clinical study, my patient may present to me medical issues of which I will have to determine appropriate treatment. In order to do this, I will need to be familiar with basic oral anatomy and what may be considered normal or abnormal. I can practice this by studying clinical images in lab or online to attempt to identify problems. I can also utilize case questions in the textbooks or online. By the end of the semester, I would like to be very familiar with uh, common oral health problems and their solutions. Personal goal number one, weight loss. This program is stressful and it will only continue to become more stressful. When confronted with stressful situations, I have a tendency to resort to unhealthy coping mechanisms, such as drinking too much coffee, eating too many sweets, not getting enough exercise. To combat this, I can incorporate 30 minutes of exercise into my day. One of the things I enjoy is walking. I can take a stroll up and down our street every morning. I can also begin to count the amount of grams of sugar I consume every day. Using these methods, I hope to lose 10 pounds within the next three to four months. If I continue with these habits, I would like to maintain that weight loss. Personal goal number two, maintaining my GPA. In addition to maintaining my weight, I would like to maintain my GPA. I understand that this is a lofty goal in a limited entry program. My hope is that by maintaining my GPA, I will be eligible for certain scholarships and that those scholarships will help pay for college expenses. I hope to achieve this by successfully managing my time. I would like to create a monthly planner and based on that monthly planner, a weekly to-do list and based on that weekly to-do list, a daily to-do list. I've also been trying to pretend as though I'm at a job while studying. I clock in, study for 45 minutes to an hour, I clock out, take a 15 minute break. After those 15 minutes are up, I clock back in. With this plan, I hope to maintain my GPA throughout the rest of the semester.